is um, in the communications field, and she once played Mary Magdalene in Godspell. Please welcome Mitzi Schindler. rash. It actually looked a lot like a message in Braille. <laughs> Let's assume that it was saying, you're going to be amazing. I don't know. I'm not blind. Um, I, I get anxious really easily and I get, um, I'm afraid of a lot of little things like peepholes and dead bugs and dying alone. I never, ever look into a peephole. It's just begging for someone to shoot your eye out. And dead bugs? Ugh. Well, there's that. I mean, there's death and a bug with creepy feet. I'm a 59-year-old woman. I sometimes feel like I'm transparent. Can, can you see me? Can you see me okay? Because I really do. Sometimes I feel like I'm almost transparent. It's, it's weird. I, I, I'm kind of sensitive about it. Like when someone, I'm walking my dog, and someone comes up to admire the dog, and I get really annoyed. I'm like, hey! I'm, I'm cute too, sir, and, and I'm a good girl. <laughs> so then, you know, I do feel like I should be able to speed on the highway because, you know. Oh, but I'm sorry, officer. I really didn't think you could see me. Um, but thanks for noticing. <laughs> you know, as I grow older, I forget everything. I, I forget where I put my shoes. I forget where I put my keys. I forget that I left the dog outside. <laughs> and names? Oh, boy. I wish everyone would wear name tags with a clue about our relationship. Like, Jordan, brother. I'm, I'm mad at you because you forgot my birthday. Okay, um, yeah, that, 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 that brings a clue back, yeah. I like to think, or I, I, I like to think that I'm a really good listener, but um, I'm not always. I get distracted, and besides, you're not always that interesting. <laughs> I, you know, it's, I tell my friends that I'm a really good listener. I do. <laughs> And, you know, it's, it's really difficult because I do get distracted. And sometimes um, it's really embarrassing when I get caught. I'll be on the phone with a friend and I'll kind of space out and then um, I'll clue back in and realized that she said something really important. So I'll um, try to catch up and pretend like I was listening. I'll say, so, um, yeah, that must be really, really hard. How do you know this person? Oh, 
Oh, it, she's your mom. Uh, she gave birth to you. Mm-hmm, got it. Uh, yeah, I just needed a little context. I know this must be really hard on my husband. We love each other, but lately we've grown apart. He moved to Nebraska. <laughs> and we also have very different love languages. I need words of admiration, and he likes Trump. Just different. Apples and Trump. I sometimes think, what happened to that fun guy that I married? And I'm sure he thinks, what happened to the woman I married? I mean, really? Where'd she go? I haven't seen her since menopause. Thank you.